Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. I sure am. Uh, yesterday I did miss, uh, unfortunately. It was a rough day after Saturday. Uh, had a bunch of friends in town and we went and tailgated some football, which does not happen very often. Um, it was just a rough Sunday and it would have been a bad stream. So I, I decided to stay off for the day. Um, which is unfortunate because I wanted to play Cyberpunk, but it is what it is. We're back. It's Monday. It's beautiful. Uh, it has gotten a lot chillier here though. Even in just like a week, which I love. Happy about it. I've just been rocking open windows. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're going to get back to Skyrim. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to plow through the main story, I think, today. Try and finish it up. We got it done a ton of books the last time we were doing through the main story stuff. So hopefully that continues. There's a bunch of stuff that we can grab. And, uh, we'll just keep pushing. So many potions. Um, yeah, we got a decent bit through the main story. We got through Kynesgrove. We went back. We dropped off the horn. We got all of our shouts. I'm just trying to figure out where we were. Throw the world. Okay, so we have to go back. That's right. We also went. We went to um, the uh, what is it? The Sky Haven Temple or whatever, and saw the the big freaking mural or whatever it is mural on the wall of uh, Alduin. I am nuts. Back. Hi, Roth guy. I want to work on our enchanting. I think it'd be so cool to get that so much stronger, but where's my guy? Arm gear. Sky above, voice within. I need to learn a shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Blades are helping me, I'm not their puppet. I mean, we take down Alduin, we save the world. If we don't take down Alduin, everyone dies. Seems like a pretty, pretty understandable thing to want to do, but, you know. I guess, I mean, the Great Breeders are pretty independent and, like, just let things happen, so. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you, but heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. Can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. Unger. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power? But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. 
Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons. And they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. So it's like... It's like becoming the Hulk. You use anger. I guess it's, uh, it's also it's kind of like the dark side. Dark side of the force. You let, you let the anger in. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Uh, why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. But I'm the Dragonborn. Let me speak to him. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. All right. I believe. Let's go. Take that. Don't mind me. What about these cheese wheels, though? That's some good cheese. They're up here hoarding the good stuff. Let me just... Let me just... Let me just get ready for this. It's... It's an intense bearing. That we're about to go through. I had to get the cheese in me. Cheese and wine. Oh, they're going to teach to me outside? Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Teach me, oh, oh wise Wolfgar. No? Fine. You guys sure are taking your sweet time. Even though you know how to do whirlwind sprint, this is kind of ridiculous. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show okay. you how to open the way. Alrighty. Lock. Ooh. Clear skies. Talk to Parthenax. I'm guessing we need to use that. Just, just a guess. The guys, will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay, thank you for everything you've taught me. Try not to die. That's no joke. That does damage, man. That hurts.
No freaking joke. Is that a goat? Yeah, we're stopping for the silver. I can make some rings and stuff out of it. We can't, we can't not stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Alright, give me that. And some sapphire. Oh, this goat died. How, how did they live up here? What the hell? That makes sense. An ice wraith hanging out in the coldest place in the world. It's fine. But a goat? Poor Billy over here trying to live his life. This dragon is just making it miserable. I yeah. We're gonna make it. I believe in us. This sword though. It's so cool, the blade sword. It's so awesome. Where, where are you? But run! You started this fight. Look at this billy goat. How do we live up here? It's so impressive. You must have some thick fur. Must be living off of snowberries. There's another one. They're crazy. Admin. No, oh, let me shout. Freaking game, man. They're just trying to kill me. We made it. That is a dragon. Hello. Who are you? What brings you to my Strumach, my mountain? You know, the very first time I've done this, not expecting a dragon, but Arthax is sweet. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dover King. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the dragon run shout. Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovaki. What? Why do you intrude here, if not for Tinvark? I gotta learn how to breathe fire? Oh, all right. 
Yeah, yeah, we're living that. We're, that's fine. Fire breath. Understand fire as the dove do. That was cool. That's a cool one. So cool. <laughs> so you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Source, Dragon Blood. What so would you cool. ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Wrench now? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way. You gotta deal with your your stinky with brother. Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yep. That's it. How do uh, you know I came for Dragon Run? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thun you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Okay. How can I learn it then? Nobody knows it. Not even this guy. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thing? I need to stop all the way. I like this world I don't want to end. Cruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? I didn't come here to debate philosophy. The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough, Croesus. Now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Dragons like mountains? <laughs> Um, I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim. Sokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. 
here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Oh, this is where they fought. Okay. Using the dragon wren shout. not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragon Rend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him a the Elder Scroll on the currents of time. Idle drop. An Elder Scroll? What's that? Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hope he would be gone forever, forever lost. Sent him into the void, is what they were hoping. I knew better. But they just sent him to this moment. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. It's kind of crazy. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Teed current. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. I gotta go back in time to learn Greg Run. Wow. Do you know where I can find it? Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Well, shoot. <laughs> the lore keeper of the College of the Winterhold might know. Trust your instincts, Dover King. Your blood will show you. We're the going way. back to the book keeper. How could an Elder Scroll cast? Okay. What do you mean, how? It's an Elder Scroll. Uh, what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scrolls bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Uthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormraith, Feldir. Who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. Damn. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Thum, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Uh, how could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? 
Uh, we might as well learn everything, yeah? Woman dog, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Noost Lihon, they would not listen. You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Stur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, me of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. That's really crappy. I mean, like, they were helping them and they just still didn't do it. I cannot tell you in detail. <clears throat> I never heard it used. Kogar. It was the first boom created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Minderon. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. You're the master of the graybeards. Do, do others come here to train? I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Holy crap. Fime, and Yol. Maybe we just get... Yeah? The, the, the stronger understanding of Hoos? It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. That's so cool. I wish to meditate on words of power. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus? Fime? You can learn about all of them? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Sea. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. 
That is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Soon, Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. It's really cool. Oh, man. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Vus, Fime, or Yol? I didn't even actually do this the last time that I played. In your tongue, the word simply this is good means lore. fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soliak, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Dude, that's so cool. Sum Ark Mora. Hip hop bar the next. <laughs> that's that's so good. I I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you're just hanging out now. Cool. That's good stuff, dude. He gives so much lore, so much lore. Um, what is it that he gave? Us. Is it just above? Fire within. Holy crap, these don't go away. Fire breath shout deals 25% more damage. Oh, so when you talk to him, it gives you the one buff and then the other ones go away. Okay. I think we want the boost. Swing that push away is really good. Which calls to you? It is called. Think that is Fus. Um. Just because, yeah, having a push away is really good. You stagger 25% less, and foes stagger 25% more. Yeah, that's really good. The fire breath seems cool, but we got fireball, so. That's really cool. Let's see. Throw that back on. Alright. Uh, it said we could go talk to Arn, Eingear, or Esburn. Why is he way over there? Oh, is he still exploring the Skyhaven Temple? Makes sense. The Ritual Stone. Did we miss a stone up here? Is it like around the corner or something? I need to know. Is there one up here that you just... Oh god. That looks like a bad time. Maybe you, you climb the mountain, you get a stone? I believe. If I was a billy goat, this would be so easy. It's like that one game, the uh, the one f climbing game or whatever, where you fall if you, and then you lose. Malkite, holy moly! Not what I was expecting up here, but we'll take it. I've been having so much fun with this playthrough. It's so so good.
There's so much more to do still, too. We haven't done any of the Thieves Guild. We haven't done the Dark Brotherhood. There's so much more we can go into, and we're just, like, plowing through the main story right now. So, kind of crazy. Ebony ore up here? What the heck? Yeah, we... I know on Friday I said that I was going to the gym again, which was awesome. Uh, my partner and I got to go again because she gets a, a good deal through the university for their gym. And like I said, I have like a workout station here, but I don't have like a whole like squat rack and stuff. So it was nice to go do legs for the first time in a couple of years. And man... Uh, I pretty much couldn't walk for the last couple of days <laughs> because this like barbell squatting is just so much different. It felt good. It felt damn good, but it has been a while. But I'm excited for that. We're gonna we're gonna try and go to the gym at least a couple times a week, and then do my other workouts at home. So, it's exciting. We're both super excited for it. Get back in shape a little bit. It was a struggle. Ever since COVID, it's been a struggle to, like, be motivated to work out again. That's pretty much when I stopped going to the gym, because nobody was wearing masks and stuff then. It was, it was bad. So I was like, I'm going to not go to the gym anymore. The motivation just isn't quite the same when you're working out at home. I don't know what, for me at least. Um, I like it. I like being able to just do it here quick, but there's just something about like going and putting yourself in that mindset. So it'll be, it'll be good. Hopefully I can get back into shape a little bit, get a little bit healthier. I wouldn't say I'm awful, but I'm I'm definitely not as it's healthy as I used to be. I'll say that. He's still outside. I'm gonna talk to him, but Oh, my dude is up in this tower, yelling away. It said to talk to Esburn, but the guy said the College of Winterhold. Which made me think of Urag. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren's shout? He did not. Nobody told me how to find out. So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll the Ancients used. Do you know where to find it? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. That's fair. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Uh, okay, so yeah, he just told us to go to the, the College of Winterhold. Okay. There's a lot more information in here, but... Breath. Maybe we'll come back and talk to him eventually. Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's head to the college. Let's go back to where we were. I am... Uh, wouldn't I know? Being the Archmage? I haven't found this information out for myself. My guy! Urag! Mm -hmm. 
Is there any college business I can assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Yeah, but I want those books. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I had heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Find a copy of the old ways? I want that book. Oh, have you made progress? We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do was pass the knowledge along. Elder's Insight, Destruction 3. I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. What do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I am the goddamn Archmage, Reg. Don't talk to me like that. comes in here expecting my help, <laughs> but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Damn. That's kind of nuts. The Price simplest for what? way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. That's crazy. Who wrote the Elder Scroll? It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Okay, so they were just like brought into existence by the divine. All right, so do you have one that I could use? Uh, <laughs> you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I do appreciate how stern and and like young ho he is about protecting his his knowledge. Good man. Good man, Ereg. But I'm I'm the Archmage, so give me the info I want. Uh, do you at least have information on them? What about? Wait, are you? Were you the one that Great Bridge were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Damn, okay, so all I had to say was, Hey man, I might be the Archmage, but I'm also the Dragonborn. So, give me what you got. Assorted books, scrolls. I love it. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Ooh, you know what? We haven't talked to him in a while. Dang, he doesn't have it. I was really hoping he would have had... The uh, Frost Atronach spell. I guess not. That sucks. Increase the damage and decrease the cost of destruction spells. For th That's pretty good. You take your work very seriously. Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. They sure do. All right, then. Let's go follow Arag. He's getting the goods. He should be proud of me that I'm a, a fellow orc that wants to partake in knowledge. So many of our kind are brutes. Is 
why I have high respect for this man. Can Bethesda fix the walk speed? It's never, it, it never matches up. There's so many books in here that we don't have. It makes me upset. I can't steal them. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. That's so funny. I'm not one for commendations. Are they might have lost the ones he just put here? Matters, so thanks. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. That's two more books. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? Good stuff. Where's my book counter? 184. Yeah, there's so many books in here that we could take. This one? Steal. See? I can't. Can't do it. I can't bring myself to it. Do I want them? Like, look at this. There's two in here in the in the case. How am I going to get those? This is the only time I could do it. Bereg's not in here. Oh. We bring ourselves to unsavory things. It requires a key to open? Oh, no. Does that mean we have to... Pickpocket Ureg to get those books? Oh my god. That's gonna be awful. We're gonna... Uh, we might have to do some unsavory things at the end of this playthrough. Art mage or not, my rules about books still stand. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. The Ruination's book is un incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Septimus Cygnus? Where'd he go? He's dead? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. He came obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Okay. I remember this guy. From the, from the other playthrough. I remember him. Funny stuff. Okay, so we have to go find this man. Septimus Cygnus. Sounds like he's, uh... Sounds like he's freaking from Harry Potter. This should be a statue of me now. I, I think they need to change this. This needs to be reworked into a beautiful orc man. Just saying. Okay, so he's up here. We got some, we got some hoofing to do. Down the ice fields. What if we just jump? Probably be bad, huh? Would probably be bad. I just heard Vivi boof. Huh. I might have to get up here and uh, go bring her to the back half. I think my partner just took off for school. That's what we usually do. I usually just keep her in the uh, back half of the, the house. So she chills. I have to go grab her in a second. Is it open? Was this closed? I wanted to just see if we needed to sell some stuff quick. What time is it? It's nine? Yeah. Yeah. Let's sell some stuff quick. Uh, and then I might go grab another thing of coffee. You must be... I'll sell you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Anything in here we can get rid of? Ooh, that we can get rid of that. 
And these. We have our alchemy gloves on us? That's silly. Stamina poison can go away. Those are good, but I'm just going to get rid of them. Bunch of poison. Or potions. And then we just have a bunch of gems. Oh my god. 218 for that? Okay. Good day. And we do have an ad coming up not not too long from here, so we'll probably just run that really fast. Grab up, grab some coffee, and then we'll go talk to uh, Mr. Crazy Man, or whatever he is. Lost in the ice. He's lost in the sauce. <laughs> we'll go find him. Because we got to hoof it way around the college and all the way to the back, so... It's going to be a, quite a trek. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're just going to get up really fast. The unfortunate thing is, that these headset is still messing with me. I'm going to have to use my other one. Um, it, it might cut out. We might have to restart uh, Skyrim again, but it's fine. We'll be right back. I'm going to run the ad and uh, go grab some coffee. Vivi's going to be a little worried because she had to come in and out. But she'll be fine. We'll get over it. Okay, how the heck are we getting out over there? That was more of a pole than I thought it was going to be. Sounds like stuff is moving down here. What is going on? What is this? Oh wait, we came down here before, didn't we? Yeah, ow, ow, and then there was fart frost traps. I swear I remember this. Do we not? Can we get a book down here? No, this book, okay. Alchemy increased. Take that, 185. Oh, that is creepy. The like ice moving sound. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Okay, how can we get down safe? Looks like the other way, maybe. A wolf. Come here. Oh, 
This sword is so good. It's gonna be amazing against dragons. How'd you move so quick? Come here. More iron. Yeah, I really feel like we should grab all this iron because we can use it to make to get XP. Excuse me, what was that? Can I spare out here? Where did it come from? What was that? Dude! You can't just spawn. What the frick? Get out of here! Dude! Double snow bears spawn on top of me? Get that crap out of here. Yeah. Freaking shove it, man. Jeez. They literally weren't there, and I was just here. That was wild. Either that or they were trying to eat the horker. I didn't see him. What the hell? <laughs> Wreck of the pride of tell. Get out of here. Our one hand is getting crazy good. Everything, man. We're getting so strong. What? Did we ever get that enchanting thing? Or is that next level? I think that's next level. Oh, that's alteration. Whoops. Yeah, might and magic. Next level. They're looting this building? Bandit chief. Hold on, my guy. Hold on, hold on. Chill out. Good lord, he hurts. That stuff looks sweet. Damn. That's some cool looking gear. Does that journal count? I don't think so. I haven't been counting like any journals, so. Randil, I hope this text of your father's last words finds its way to your hands. I served House Telvani as a wet nurse during her first months of life and wanted to repay your father's kindness. Uh, I've done all I can to locate you, but I regret that we'll never meet face to face. I drew Idria Olin. Is this the end of all things? Are we to die by the cruel barbed blades of the Argonian invasion force? After surviving the Red Year, struggling to dig from the ash, the rubble, and burying thousands that died. Is this to be our epitaph? Ep ep teth? Ugh, words. Tough. Epitaph. Um, the irony of our demise glows brighter than uh, Master on the summer solstice. We brought this upon ourselves, the Argonians simply answering a rallying cry, incited by a millennium of suffering imposed by my kind. So here I sit in the crumbling basement of our family home while 
A thousand, thousand booted feet echo above me, and the screams of dying find their way into my ears. Holy crap. So falls house to lie. But then I look into the eyes of this child, this blessing given to us the very year that uh, Vardenfell sprouted its fiery death across the land. This gift I hold my grasp. Is it too much to wish he be given the chance to survive and keep our memories alive? This small boy born in the midst of chaos and destruction must carry on, if nothing else, as a reminder uh, to other Dunmir that the Tilvani were once a proud and noble people. Since the death of my wife, I have been, haven't been able to bring myself to give my son a proper name. It never felt right without her, but my own life reaches its final hours as the luxury of time escapes my embrace. I name him now Brandil, son of uh, Limdrin, and sole, survive, sole living heir to House Tilvani. I will wrap him in his Colonia, his birthing swaddle, and leave his fate to Azura's will. Live with virtue and pride, sir. Wow. That's heavy. That's pretty heavy. Is there any more loot up here? Oh, there's more there's stones up here oh we're going the wrong way but I want to see what those stones are way out here is crazy This water's gotta be freezing cold. There's no way a mere mortal would survive that. Not a chance. Good thing we're at Dova. Or Andra. fails, fireball to the face. Hey, what is the shrine? The serpent stone. Once a day, those under the sign of the serpent can use a ranged paralyzing poison on opponents. Wow. That's a weird one to be way out here. It seems pretty good, but I like ours. High resistance and stuff magic and armor pretty good I'm enjoying having that as a as a clothy for the first time in forever in World of Warcraft I started leveling a, uh, a warlock I've almost never played a caster like seriously for a very long time with healers like a ton of healers yeah, a very good healer but in yeah, a caster weird real weird but it's been cool this expansion has been really fun I know a lot of people think wow it's dying or has been dead for a long time but I think, I think they did a pretty good job with this one and Dragonflight itself wasn't that bad like I played a decent amount of Dragonflight I think they're moving in the right direction to get their fan base back. Plus, like, 
they put a bunch of stuff with classic and hardcore and all that all that good stuff so there's the, tons of ways to play and enjoy enjoy the game however you want that's all that matters if you enjoy it oh god a bunch of workers yo you think we could get some some souls out of these guys I feel bad killing them but Souls. Resisted soul trap. I'm sorry. Your life is for me. I'm a horrible person. This is awful. I just slaughtered Sam. Oh no. I feel so bad, but it was worth it. We got souls. We needed them. Speaking of that, how's my sword doing? How's Dragon Bane? Oh yeah, I need some. I need some good stuff. I need to fill this bad boy up. Are we almost to the cave? Oh, there are more horkers. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna leave you alone. You just live your life by yourself. I'm so sorry. I took your whole family. Just recently, somebody brought up a point on uh, on YouTube saying that there's like 500 books. And I didn't even take into account um, uh, the DLC maybe having more books. But it also might count like journals and everything. So we're going to collect from the main story until we hit 337. And if we go over that with doing the DLC, we go over that. You know what I mean? So, the, the the one I saw online was 337, but that might have been talking about just the, the, the main story and not DLC stuff. But we'll see. Here's this guy. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I think this guy has gone crazy. Which is what Arag said. People that study the scrolls go mad. If they don't have what it takes to, to be up here. Kinda nuts. I forgot we brought coffee. Holy crap. We got coffee sitting here. Oh, we love it. Good for the brain. I heard you know about Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Are you all right? Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. So where's the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? 
You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Oh, in Black Reach. Have you heard of Black Reach? You haven't been down there yet. Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> this guy has gone so mad. Where is Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark. The hidden keep, Tower's Ark. Oft hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock, to jump beneath the deathly rock. Okay, man, calm down. How do I get in? <laughs> Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings. But... Empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. All right. Transcribe the lexicon. What do I do with this sphere? What do I do with this cube? <laughs> what do you want with the Elder Scroll? So much information from this man. The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes. Or the mind, as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do, to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption, and focus the knowings into it. Huh. When it brims with glow, bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. So they transcribe the information on the Elder Scroll into another thing so they can look at it. That's pretty smart, because it'll, it'll mess with your mind and stuff. Ooh, an observant one. Do you are geniuses? How to ask of Septimus? This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. What is an Elder Scroll? You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. The future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. It, there's so much information there. 
but it's so skewed with rambling <laughs> of a madman. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we know we need to get into Black Reach. Are these stealing? I want that book. I don't care. This guy's crazy. He doesn't he doesn't need these books. That's one more. One more book. Okay. So we have to find the Elder Scroll now and we have to get into Black Reach. You know the the funny similarity between finding a madman way out in a cave and then in Fallout you kind of I mean like you don't find a madman but you find like a, a crazy smart scientist or whatever way out in the cave in the in the uh whatchamacallit sea the irradiated sea or whatever in uh Fallout 4 it's it's so similar they put the same same idea that he was hiding for a different reason than just being crazy. Um. Oops. We can remove that. Uh. Okay. So now. Recover the Elder Scroll. So we need to go to Alf Tand. Do we have stuff we need to drop off? That's a good question. We're a little bit heavy. We can run. Run down here. We can also make sure we have potions and stuff, because I got a feeling Black Reach is going to be rough. We got to make sure we're stocked up on potions, stocked up on everything. Ready to roll. Roll deep into the Twitter man. Crabby, what's going on? Uh, where did you? Where are you at? You skittering up top? Oh, he's right here. Hey, buddy. What a good mud crab. Okie dokie, let's grab out our ingredients. Do we have our, uh, all of our alchemy stuff on? Yeah, potion of... And then... I thought we had a necklace, too, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh God, we're naked. You know, you gotta do, uh, you gotta do alchemy naked. That's how it works. Um, restore health. Health increased and restores health. That's pretty good. And then we'll go down here and we'll get, um, restore magic. Restore stamina. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. What else do I have selected? Okay, we're not doing those. <laughs> There's so much going on with those those potions. Holy crap. Um. And then the only other thing I feel like might be useful, maybe, would be making... Some poisons. Some weakness to magic poisons. Would be pretty useful. our stuff back off because this is 9,000 pounds worth of crap that 
was literally 100 pounds worth of ingredients. Don't carry your ingredients. Uh, drop that off, drop that off, drop that off. Keep those. Let's sort this quick. Those are good. Regen is good. Bunch of healing potions, big healing potions, those are good. A uh, bunch of magic potions are good. We already have a bunch of those, right? Yeah, poison. A uh, potion of resist magic. Not so much. I like to keep at least one of these on us just in case we need it. And then we have a bunch of stamina potions, which we probably don't need that many. That's good. See if we need to drop anything. Oh, we can put our enchanting or our uh, alchemy stuff away quick. Crimson. That one. This one. This one. Amulet of Akatosh. So damn good. Archmage robes. Striking. I hate that we're using the Thalmor ones, but it is what it is. And then we'll throw our... Um, we'll just throw that in there. We don't need that. Throw that in there. We still gotta get the other masks, too. Holy crap. Oh, I, I didn't put that away. We're doing 189. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I guess we have some ore we can put away too. Away too. Cool. Ready to roll. Let's do this. Let's go explore. The so Dweemer. Way up here, so we can just jump over from Sarthel. Feeling good. Feeling excited. Pushing, pushing through this main story. I get them books. Which honestly, yeah, doing the main story has gotten us a decent amount. That's a dragon. That's a dragon. Just a blood dragon. It's fine. Get down here. I don't fear you, I have the sword from the blades. Easy. Steel armor and embers. I feel like we're just gonna keep not take these bones. Otherwise, we're gonna have to run back. We're not even using them. It's just something I refuse to not collect, though. You know what I mean? Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get out of here. I just killed a dragon. You think I'm scared of some wolves? Is this it? Is this where we're going? Is down this little hidey hole? 
surprised we never we didn't explore this one. We didn't like. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's up top. Uh oh. Or is it this? Elfand Ruin Tower. This is the right one, right? Maybe this is just a second entrance. Or maybe this is the entrance. Oh, the, the lightning damage is coming in clutch against the spitters. Love it. Don't tell me this is just a tiny little room. Who is this? Joy Yard? Some poor fool? Does this kind of go on forever? Can we just run through this? <laughs> Didn't even bother me. No traps, though. A bunch of traps. I said this earlier, but we were talking about YouTube, and you want to give a shout out to, to all the people watching over on YouTube because it's been kind of crazy. Uh, getting a lot of love over there, and I appreciate that a lot. That's a trap. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do really appreciate all the people enjoying it over on YouTube. chest in here. I'm glad we put in those points into the lock picking because man, it has made it so much easier to get some of those things open. See that? They want you to take all this stuff. Like, take it all. We'll, here, we'll even give you a potion. So you can carry everything. So that just that just brought us up to the top. All right. Now we can actually go in. Ooh. 
We'll go around, we'll go around. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I wonder if it's that one. When you go down the lift. Oh, God. Whoever was living out here had a, had a rough time. The book on the ground. Oh, come on. Expedition manifest. I guess we'll count that. That seemed like a journal, but... the entrance this is not is this the exit down this whole thing okay oh glacial ruins is this it we go in a cave sneaky a little bit. It looks like there's people around. There were people around. This looks like this fire's still been... What I mean? Hmm. What were they doing down here? A lot of bad stuff. Where is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more scoop. Shut up! Shut up! Don't like me, Cesar. You hit it. Always try to Oh no, the guy's skooma. You hear that? He's tripping on the skooma. He's freaking tripping on the skooma. Oh god, did he go mad and kill it? He went mad and killed everyone because of it. That's why you don't do drugs. <laughs> don't do the skooma. We talked about that the last time. The last time we were involved with the skooma, the skooma trader. He tried to kill us. Just stay away from it, man. Stay away from the skooma. It just ends bad. We're gonna have to go deal with that guy. Oh, nice. Another book. Dwarves. Two books. Research notes. If only Umana would have left one of these dwarven machine creatures intact for me to study. The fact that they almost killed those Khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. We dragged some stuff uh, in front of the pipes that came out of to stop them from coming back. They're simply fascinating. It is just as Calcimo uh, described in Dwarves Volume 2. Their appearance does in fact resemble that of Arachnid. I thought that to be an em embellishment given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design of the apparatus is quite remarkable. It could explain the focus for the lightning that he described. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be the main power source for the apparatus. Perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with the uh, energies contained in the soul gem uh, to bring heat to a small boiler? 
too early to say conclusively. That does raise the question of where the liquid for the boiler, uh, however. Oh, that was strange. I thought I just saw something moving beyond the barrier. Barred door. It looked vaguely humanoid. I wonder if it could be an undiscovered auto automaton. Uh, I'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if I can catch another glimpse. This is also exciting. It was exciting until you all got murdered. By this crazy that wants skooma. God. Okay, let's go find this guy. He's causing problems. Insufficient charge? This thing ate up my charges already? Holy crap. Vigorous healing potion. Sneaking ring. That'll be helpful when we go over to the Thieves Guild stuff. Oh god. Feel out, Spider-Man. Skins looking for food. This one wasn't us. What was that? Look, my guy. Uh, I don't want any. Ah! He's crazy. He's mad. I don't have any skooma. Mercy. Holy crap. His brother's not even down here. Oh, it is. Oh, I spoke too soon. His brother is down here. He murdered him. Empty skooma bottle. Seven? We picked up something we didn't need. Okay, this one doesn't count, but it's a journal we can read. This one is at at his wit's end. I signed Jadar and myself up for this expedition. I tried to get him clean of the skooma. Brought a small supply to try to uh, bring him down slowly. But the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that one with the fur should not shake so much from the cold. But I've run out of the little skooma I brought and Jadar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Valley's disappearance. But I know he would never do something like that. Jesus. The guy went mad and murdered everyone. What the hell? Umana's journal? It's been about a week since Valley went missing and now Indrest is gone too. We found blood leading over to the barred off doorway, but uh, Sola seems to think that they found a way through and that they are trying to cut him out of the discovery. He keeps saying that we need to press on. We managed to uh, break through into another section of the ruins. An animate animate Animunculary? Holy crap. Animunculary. I feel like I know how to say that and it's just bothering me. Uh, where the doors would produce their automatons. It's just like where they make the automatons. 
Uh, we learned the hard way that the metal creatures are still alive in there, and it hasn't improved uh, Yag's mood at all. He holds that the Khajiit brothers aren't involved with the disappearances and has been keeping a hard eye on Sola. The rations have all but run out, and we are going to have to decide soon whether to brave the storm or try and push further into the ruins. I don't know if the echoes or screams I've heard in my sleep are those of our missing comrades or my own nightmares. Yeah, I don't know. Should we push back this way and go to this? I feel like we should explore what this is quick. We kind of went the opposite direction. We didn't even look at this, uh, this door here. Maybe we couldn't even get in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe this is the exit. Looks like it's barred off from the other side, maybe. Okay. Sounds like something is stuck. Oh god! I accidentally lit myself on fire. What the hell? That almost got me. Okay, nothing's stuck, but those pistons are going. Get out of there! Blacksmith's porch. You know, I feel like I have a pretty halfway decent uh, grasp on the human, the English language, but sometimes the the things they use in fantasy is just wild. But also English is. I would never want to have to learn English as a second language. It is miserable. So, I, uh, I very much feel for anyone that has had to learn English as a second language because it is the most, like, backwards making sense. Everything is sounds the exact same and written different and It's crazy and then you have like the different dialects between American English 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 It's wild like British English What are we going into we want magica because we want to get up to 300 Oh, right, we were getting this. This is what I wanted.
Yeah, now we're gonna do more damage. Because if I have a spell in one hand and a sword in the other, I do 10% more with each. So good. So freaking good. I see the spitters over there. I see that trap too. I'm not dumb. I think we brought a hundred locks, lockpicks. There we go. Okay, nothing crazy, but we got some nice fancy rings. Big potions. Always a fan of those. How did they sleep on these beds? Might as well just sleep on the floor. Like, what's the point? There's a rock on a rock. I guess just so you're up off the ground. But... Okay, what's this door back here? You know, we gotta explore. Nice. Hi, friend. So many soul gems. Anamonocularry? Is that it? Is that the words? Oh, the Falmer. Well. Well. Should have expected that. We're heading into the Falmer. The deeper we go, the more we get to him. I'm not gonna lie, I have a, I have a, a Razor Naga or whatever, so I have the extra 12 buns on the side. I got it mostly for playing WoW, forever. Like that's what I, I played so much WoW, so I got the the mouse for all the extra keys. But it's handy for this because I can use my quick spells on them. So like I can just set all my quick, quick things to the, to the mouse buttons. It's super nice. Sandrast. Why is he wearing rag? Rag of clothes. 
The eyeless creatures took us in our sleep. I don't know what happened to the Khajiit brothers. We never saw them in the cell. I managed to pick the lock and we made a break for it, but we got split up. Sola yelled something about not leaving without finding what he came for, and Umana chased after him. Yag and I tried for the top uh, of the cave shaft, but one of the ramps was broken. Without a hesitation, she grabbed me by the scruff of my tunic, threw me atop the ledge, and told me to run. And I did. I didn't even look back. I just ran like a coward. I could hear her fighting them, and I just had to get away. I didn't even notice the air on my shoulder until I hit here. Damn. Those metal creatures are still all around me, and I'm too terrified to even move. Eight divines, just please take me now. Damn. They had it rough. They weren't re Oh. They weren't ready for this. They did not come prepared. I have so many of those eggs. Kind of gross. Kind of gross. We've dealt with so much, so much Taurus nastiness. I have so many of their eggs. Oh no! It's so close. Spitter. This just yeah, puts them back up. Okay. This goes so deep. It's a good thing we stocked up on everything. Holy crap. Tosh. Oh, thank God we're getting potions down here, too. That would be rough. We haven't used, had to use a ton, but it, it, some things have been macking us. Most of the stuff isn't bad. Well, I think once we get to the Palmer, it's going to get bad. Oh, God. There's another one of them. that little spider doing? He working away over there? Skeleton, huh? Warven helmet. A locked room. We already have that. Master. Okay. This is why we have the uh, the gear. We have a uh, lock picking. Yep. And yep. It's an extra 35% easier lock pick on a, on a masher. I'll take it. It still breaks my things right away. Damn. Okay. Was that like right over here? Damn. These master ones are so damn difficult. Even with the buffs. Okay, it's a little bit higher there. There we go. Whew. Not even good things in here? You're gonna tease me like that game?
and waste like six lockpicks on me? Freaking rude. Yeah, we gotta put our other stuff back on. Uh, Amulet of Akatosh. Wrong one. Oh, is this nothing? Do we have to jump? Oh god. They expect us to jump. Well. There's no going back, I guess. This is Yag. Dang, dude. She fought to the very end. Or props to her. You're a beast. You died like an orc. Proud of you. <laughs> Was it worth it? No. Was it funny? Yes. Alright, how do we get down now? Over here? Nice. Here they are. The start. The start of the end. I hate these damn guys. The Falmer. Always ruining my day. Ooh. Like, why do they do so much damage? Ah! I was doing so good. See what I mean? Like, they just come out of nowhere and there's a thousand of them. They're like cockroaches. If there's one, there's 25. I one shot. Heck yeah. Take a little coffee break. Getting freaking intense, man. Getting freaking intense. Get them before they see me. Take the a little bit of alchemy goods. Yeah, 
Hidden deeper in. Do they see me? Yes, light them on fire. Good stuff. We sneak down here on top. Walk in the fire. Yes, you fool. You fool. I guess they are blind. Pretty bad. <laughs> That's just... They don't even know what they're looking at. Ugh. Come on. There we go. What do we got? Nothing. But XP though. Ooh. It looked like there was something back here. A potion? Maybe not. There's always loot to be found. Why are they keeping their ears? Or oh, leveling up our sneak, nice. Oh, never mind. Never mind. amazing. Nice. Dude. I think these are my least favorite people to fight. The whole game. Dragons, Trouger, nothing. Palmer, suck. Staff of Firebolts. And they always got the damn bugs with them. I was an Imperial officer's helmet down here. Does it go up, up to the top? Oh, we can take a break if we need to. Holy crap. Not that we will. We're going to keep going, but I might as well get the... Uh, Spot unlocked. Hey, see how that takes us out. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep looking, keep exploring. But oh, this is one of the other people. Dude, the, they just like. They had her shackled? Oh, God. Uh, I don't even know who that is, but they did some horrible things to them. Leather? Oh, don't tell me that's human. Ugh. The Fulmer are doing nasty things down here. They're doing nasty things. Okay. Oh, oh, two mage robes. Hold on, we got so much stuff here.
Small pearl, soul gem, garnet, silver ingot, some skooma. Uh oh. They strip those people and put them in rags? That's pretty messed up. Restores 25 points of stamina. Skuma. Don't do the drugs, kids. If we can take them by surprise, we do it, because I hate these guys. Oh my god. Bitter! Why aren't you fighting on my side? Far are we going? We're not even in. We haven't even made it to Black Reach yet. I feel like this dungeon has been massive. Kind of crazy. They built this one real deep. The cathedral. Quick saves, you know, they're important. traps. something. Okay. I think we're getting closer to Blackreach. Oh no, poor Skeever. Got blasted. Give me these mushrooms. Sounds so gross. Black soul gem. Huh. Wonder how good that is. I mean, it's filled with a gr uh, grand soul gem, so I guess it would just be that strong, but. Keep picking up things we don't need. I, I don't need a Falmer War Axe. Get that out of here. Come on. 
banded iron armor. <laughs> We're getting pretty heavy. We are collecting a lot of crap. This one has been a, been a big dungeon. Oh, baby. We're going to have to fight this big boy. That's okay. We fought him before. Oh! oh, he's weakened already. Not even hard. Freaking cakewalk. E to Alflin lift. That silver too, might as well. Damn, dude. They put up a fight. They put up a fight. Glass arrows. Damn. I feel like I should do a freaking stealth playthrough sometime. I've never, I don't think I've ever played an actual stealth run. But I, I wouldn't want to use a bow. I just don't like bows. Some loot back here? I don't want to do daggers. I think it'd be so much more fun. Really difficult, I feel like, but... Once you can sneak up on people and just, like, backstab them for time... It's like 21 times damage. I think it's pretty good. It's just you gotta play different. Let's just get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? What the hell is happening? Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. What was that? They made it this far? Oh god, they're fighting. Did we just let them fight? I've been wounded worse by better. And you thought it was just a pretty face. Dude, she's a beast. He's kicking this guy's ass. You're a dead woman. I'm letting him fight. Fight it out. Place your bets. Damn. Nope. I'm going to enjoy this. I I was just hey. I didn't do anything. I was just cheering you on. Damn. I was just cheering him on. When bashing does three points of bleeding damage? That's pretty sick for a shield playthrough. Uh, well. They all died. I'm surprised they made it this far. Does that go to Blackbreach? Holy crap. Oh, but this takes us out. Okay. Yeah. Man, maybe we should go we should go stock back up and sell and whatnot before we go into Blackbreach, because that's gonna be even more crap to deal with. Dang. Yeah, let's go uh, to White Worm. Really fast. Thank God. That was a huge dungeon. Huge dungeon. You're somewhat looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Let's see. I guess we can disenchant that. And I think ours is better than this, so we'll just get rid of that. We don't need these arrows. We don't need that. We don't need that. Good stuff. We'll keep this. Let's smell the light. Smell that junk fast. Nice. We'll head over to um, our good friend Belthor 
Maybe he's got some potions we can snag up. Not that, I don't even know if we need them. We got something for just about everybody. We've been making a ton of potions, but if he's got big ones, maybe. Everything's for sale. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. <laughs> Sell some stuff quick. Empty skooma bottle. Don't need two of those. We have so much crap. So much crap. We have weapons we can get rid of? No. Nope, nope, nope. Those are all our good ones. Yeah, we'll keep those. Skuma. Ugh. Do we just keep that for the for the for the funnies? I think we keep that for the funnies. Yeah, he's pretty much out of money. But we got rid of a bunch of stuff. What else is weighing us down? All the ingredients we've picked up? And then all the ore that we've got? Yeah, probably. Do come back. We'll just have to go drop that stuff off. Real fast. Over to Itzy. Grabby's holding it down. Holding down the fort. Nice. What about potions? Do we need to drop anything off? Drop the skooma off. We're sitting pretty good on potions, so I think we're fine. 33. Let's go drop our ore off really fast, because we have a good amount of that. No, we've just been collecting. Weighs a little bit. Drop that off. Anything else that is just... I mean, all of our gems, but that's not really a lot of weight. Do we really need the ethereal staff? We don't really use it. I mean, it's cool, because we can make dwarven stuff with it, but it's really... You know what I mean? Is it worth it? No. We can't even disenchant that shield? Oh, it must be like a special shield then. Huh. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Just throw that in here then. Like the Spellbreaker? That shield is sick. The Spellbreaker is a good shield. I would use that in a in a freaking um, playthrough if I was doing Sword and Board again. I think it's damn good. How are we looking now? Pretty good. Pretty good. Head back to uh, see what the Black Reach has got going on. Thank God we can get in and out really easy now. Mm. 
the black reach. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Dude. You see this? What's going on down here? Look at these giant mushrooms. This is crazy. Oh god. 26 Dwarven Spirit, yep. Yep. Good thing we went back and dropped stuff off. Checked our potions and stuff, cause... Stuff down here is gonna hurt. Of course they're down here. This is probably where most of them live. And there's ebony ore down here. Wow. Darian's Field Laboratory. Maybe some information in here? Oh, he's dead. That's unfortunate. Thirty percent better. Holy crap. That's better than what we have. Right? Dominant lockpicking. Do we even have a ring for lockpicking? We don't. Now we can actually lockpick stuff easy. We have this book? In a while. We have that book too. A return to your roots. That was a red crimson nin root. This guy was studying them then? Yes, I have eternal. I have 611 years old. I've never had a children of my own. This is about somebody somebody else. I wanted his journal. So many ingredients down here though. Thank you. Uh, where's this, where's this journal? Did we already pick it up? Yeah. Here we go. Um, this field journal. Uh, I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Ninroot, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The trilling sound this uh, strange herb emits seems to taunt me. Push me even harder to discover its secrets, even after a generous and indomitable traveler became a field collector in my stead and provided me with five score of the Ninru. I was only able to muster what I could uh, consider a mediocre alchemical creation at best. This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over 50 years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Wheeled Inn. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone, that unmistakable warble unique to the Ninru. When I turned around, my heart leapt and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Ninru, uh, but the variety the likes of which I had never seen. The herb was awash in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable, innumerable va variations of the crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Ninroot 
I just realized there's an R in there. Nernroot. With such a unique property. After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions. Uh, to the traveler who brought me this treasure. He told me he was his name was Obeth Arnishian, a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach, and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want uh, to leave the caves empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Nirnroot to bring home. Uh, he said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way, and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, Obeth offered to sell me the Crimson Nirnroot sample, a map showing me how to find Blackreach and the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to decide Obeth to decide. Obeth left Skingrod uh, a thousand septums richer, but I would have easily paid ten times that to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim before delving headfirst into Blackreach. I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, uh, but wished to do so in seclusion after making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, which I was an honorary member. I was directed to speak to Rusa Serethi, a student of botanical uh, alchemy who had a small farm near the city in Rifton. By bartering my knowledge of Nernroot cultivation, I was able to secure Sarathi's farm as a launching point for my field research. I kept the knowledge of the Crimson uh, Nernroot a secret from Av Avrusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her in exchange for her hospitality. A few months passed, but I was finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used the attunement sphere that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough crimson nirin root to produce my greatest alchemical creation. Uh, I was certain I, it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. Jesus. This brings me to the present. Uh, my initial research seems to indicate that the crimson nirin root has a special affinity for moisture as the garden variety but also maintain some sort of symbiotic relationship with the uh, enormous fungi that inhabits Blackreach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water. Absorbing it from the moist subterrain air like a sponge, this provides the ideal environment for the Nirnroot to grow. Unfortunately, the Crimson Nirnroot appears to have vastly shortened lifespan, and they are in no way plentiful down here. Gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge, but hopefully the denizens of Blackreach will allow me to gather my samples unhindered. Well, that wasn't true. Unfortunately, he did not make it very far. They said absolutely not and shot him. Okay, so we, now we have a quest to, to find the rest of the Crimson Nirn Root that's down here. That's crazy. I'm guessing it's just kind of everywhere down here. Oh, we need to redo our weapon. Dragon's Bane. Okay, so we'll try and find that as much as we can. What did we do? Oh, is this another entrance? Straight into Blackreach? Whoa. No way. That's cool. So we can go straight in now. That's handy. But there's something evil down here.
Get away from the narrow route. It's mine. Oh, what? Get away from me, you demon! I hate those flying ones. They're gross. It sounds like this entire place is glowing. Well, it looks like the scroll is way down there. It just makes me want to explore this whole place. Fucking fascinating. Gold ore. All the mushrooms. It's crazy. I can hear another Ninroot. Yep. Man. It's already almost 11, too. I just want to keep going. I want to keep exploring, but we're always done at 11. We might have to save this for next time. Maybe that's the plan. We'll save it for next time. Now that we're, we have access straight into the Reach, we'll head back to, uh, back to base. Pick out a book to read. Call it an, call it an afternoon. Yeah, now that we can get in there, it's so easy. It's awesome. The Isty Town. Let's find a book that we want to read. For the day. We're running out of book space, too. Holy crap. Dwarves? If we have Dwarves Volume 1, we could read that. That'd be good. We could read the, the Dwarf books. The effects of the Elder Scrolls? Maybe we'll read those. Those Elder Scroll books that we picked up from what's his name? Man and Marco, King of Worms. Yeah, let's read, um, Effects of the Elder Scrolls. So that's what we're getting into right now. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism that affects has a, at present been largely unknown. Theories Let me grab some water quick. We just read a bunch of Um Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. I, Justinius uh, Pol Polunius, Polunius uh, have undertaken the thoroughly document to thoroughly document the ailments aff afflicted by the Elder Scrolls on their readers. Though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject for future study. I have grouped the effects into four, finding that the avenue of experience depends largely upon the mind of the reader. If this is unclear, I hope that the proper disectomy will lay it plain. Uh, group, group the first, the naifs for the one who has received no training in the history or nature of the Elder Scrolls. The scroll 
elf is effectively inert. No prophecy can be scribed, nor knowledge obtained. While the scroll will not impart learning to the uniform, uninformed, nor will it afflict them in any adverse fashion. Visually, the scroll will appear to be a wash of odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize constellations in the patterns and connections, but such conjecture is impossible to further investigate since the very nature of this study necess necessitates unlearned subjects. Okay, so if you don't have any clue what they are, it just won't affect you at all, but you won't learn anything from them. Group the second, the unguarded intellects. It is the second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the scrolls. These are subjects who have an understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possess sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effect of the, having a glimpse of infinity. These unfortunate, unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, and completely blind, such as the price for overreaching to one facilities. It bears mentioning, though, that the, with the blindness, also comes a fragment of the hidden knowledge. Whether the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the indiv individual and their place of the greater spheres. The knowledge does come. Group the third, meditated understanding. Alone in Tamriel, it would appear that the cult of the ancestor moth have discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. Their novities Novitates must undergo uh, the most rigorous mental cultivation, and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery before being allowed to read their first Elder Scroll. The monks say this is for their initiates' own protection, as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among their more eager ranks with appropriate fortitude. These readers also receive blindness. Though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded, their visions fogs slightly, but then a retained shape, color, and enough acuity to continue to read mundane texts. The knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires stages of meditation and reflection to fully appreciate and express what one saw. Group the fourth, illuminated understanding between the previous group and this one exists a continuum that has at present only been transversed by the monks of the ancestor moth. With continued readings, the monks uh, became gradually more and more blind, but received greater and more detailed knowledge. As they spend their waking hours pondering the revelations, they also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is for every monk a day of penulent reading, when the only knowledge the Elder Scroll imparts is that the monk's next reading shall be his last. For each monk, the penultimate uh, reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Preliminary work has been done to predict the occurrence uh, by charting the sever severity of an individual. Monks' blindness, but all who reach their later stages, report that the increasing blindness seems to taper with increased readings. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is in fact continuing to diminish at this upper range, but I shall leave such postulations to philosophers. To prepare for his ultimate reading, a monk typically withdraws to seclusion in order to reflect upon the, t the lifetime of revelations and appointment, his mind for reception of his last. Upon this final reading, he is forever blinded, as sure as those unguarded ones who race to knowledge. The illuminated one, though, has retained his understanding over a lifetime, and typically possesses a more integral notion of what has been revealed to him. It is hoped that this catalog will prove useful to those who wish to further our mortal understanding of the Elder Scrolls. The moth priests remain aloof about these matters, 
taking the gradual debilitation that comes with reading it as a point of pride. May this serve as a useful starting point for those hoping to take up such study. So pretty much no matter what, you're going to go blind. It's just if you prepare yourself for it, you'll actually retain the knowledge. That's kind of crazy. There's a lot deeper lore in uh, in what goes on with those than than uh, what you think. It's kind of kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. That was a good one. I want to read the other one too, because uh, then we'll get into to what more is going on with the other trolls. That's, that's good stuff. Good lore. We'll top over here. And just, I wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out. I uh, hope you had a good time. I sure did. Uh, the main story is getting kind of crazy. Uh, going into Black Region and stuff has been nuts. That dungeon was huge. And uh, we're not even scratched the surface of what, what Black Reach is. So that'll be exciting. We'll be back, to, not tomorrow, uh, Wednesday night, uh, 7 p.m. Central Time. And we'll continue diving into Black Reach. So that's where we'll be on Wednesday. Uh, just, yeah, thank you again so much for hanging out. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you Wednesday night.